I will start this course with some basic information, which is more for beginners. I will talk a little bit about domain names, hosting and WordPress itself. So let's get started. All right. So first of all, what will you need? You will need a domain name. It's basically just the name of your website. For example, it can be google.com, facebook.com or any other. So it's completely up to you. Next thing, you're going to need web hosting. So basically it's just going to be a place, a server where we are going to keep all our files. Third thing, you're going to need SSL certificate. Of course, it's not necessary, but if you want to have a professional looking website, I highly recommend you to get one. And in most cases, you can get it for free. If you're not sure what it is, maybe you remember in the past, it used to be that green padlock next to HTTPS. Nowadays in Google Chrome, there's just a gray padlock, which indicates that connection is secure and the website has a SSL certificate. And the last thing we are going to need content management system. Since this course is all about WordPress, that's exactly what we are going to use. So let's talk a little bit about domain names. On the right side, you can see the most popular top level domain names, TLDS, or basically just the ending of your website. So as you can see, the most popular one is .com, the second one .net, .co, .org and so on. There are plenty of them, but these are the most popular ones and I would like to share with you some tips for choosing a domain name. So first of all, if possible, always choose .com because it's the most popular one and it's the most recognizable one. And if uh, that domain name is not available, the next best option would be .net. Second tip, make it short. Don't go over the top with a long domain name. There's no need. Just make it short and simple. The best case scenario would be keep it under 15 characters. Next tip, make it easy to pronounce and spell. This one is quite important. Let's say somebody finds your website and that person thinks that you have an awesome looking website. He would like to let his friends know about your website. And if your domain name is going to be difficult to pronounce and spell, that person he's going to have tough time letting his friends know about your website. And the last tip would be avoid hyphens. Yes, I understand. In most cases, it's going to be difficult to find a right domain name and because most of them are already taken and people tend to go with hyphens between the words if they cannot find a certain domain name. Avoid that. Don't do that because you don't want to make your domain name look sketchy or spammy. So avoid hyphens. For web hosting, I'll be using Hostinger. And if you will use code WP10, you you'll get 10% discount of annual plans, except it doesn't apply for a single shared hosting plan. And in the next lesson, I will show you how to set up your hosting. So we are going to use WordPress as our content management system. And actually WordPress is very versatile. So using this content management system, you can easily create blogs, e-commerce websites. And if you can create e-commerce websites, you can even create drop shipping business or print on demand business. And the last thing you can create business websites. Actually with WordPress, you can create almost any type of website you can imagine. All right, so now you know a little bit about the main names, hosting and the WordPress itself. From here, we can go and set up your hosting